Hey, how's it going today, everybody? Uh, today I wanted to talk about the apparent leak that occurred on PlayStation Store in the Hong Kong PlayStation Store to be exact, of Dino Crisis being one of the potential PlayStation 1 classic games available for the new PlayStation Plus subscription. So without any further delays, let's get right into it. Dino Crisis is one of those franchises that a lot of fans of Capcom would like to see some sort of revitalization for, whether it be a remake, a re-release, or even just just a new game entirely. So seeing something like this, it is very exciting, especially if you're a Dino Crisis fan, because it gives us the opportunity to be able to play Dino Crisis on modern hardware. So the caveat with this is that you do have to be a PlayStation Plus Deluxe subscriber. Personally, I am not a big fan of the new PlayStation Plus subscription. If you really want to see my thoughts on that, you should check out the BioDevils podcast that we did talking about the PlayStation Plus changes. That being said, I do want to just strictly talk about Dino Crisis here and how this might actually be a good thing for this game. In the sense that Dino Crisis being on PlayStation Plus, being one of the games that you can play via PS4 or PS5 if you have the deluxe subscription, or if you just happen to have purchased Dino Crisis on PlayStation 3 and have PlayStation Plus Essential, which would still give you access via uh, Sony's honor system based on whether or not you've purchased that game on PlayStation 3. And to me, this might actually be a good thing because of the fact that it would give people the opportunity to play Dino Crisis for the first time if they've never played this game, if they are planning on buying this new subscription-based service for PlayStation Plus. Alternatively, this would also give people the opportunity who have purchased it on PlayStation 3 to replay it and see it with additional features and enhancements that would not be available on the PS3 uh, digital release of the game. So in that sense, those are some good aspects. But there is also another thing that I haven't really addressed in that, you know, having Dino Crisis be a PlayStation Plus classic that you do get access to, it would potentially show Capcom that, hey, you know, if people are buying into this game, they're buying into this game because of the subscription service, that might give them the idea that, you know, maybe Dino Crisis should get a comeback. Maybe people are actually interested in Dino Crisis. Really to show Capcom that people want Dino Crisis is to show them that people are buying it and if they see that more people are buying it they may be interested or maybe more inclined to bring over other Dino Crisis games to the service as well as just potentially remastering Dino Crisis games or remaking Dino Crisis games if not giving us new entries to this franchise. Also something else that I should point out is that we don't know if we're going to only be getting Dino Crisis 1 or if this will only be Dino Crisis 2 or if it will be both Dino Crisis 1 and 2 from the PlayStation 1 classic from PlayStation 3 coming over. Personally, I would like it if both games were available so that it gives everybody the opportunity to try both games if they've never played this series before. Or in the case of where somebody might have only played Dino Crisis 1 or Dino Crisis 2 and they want to go to the other game that they hadn't played yet, well, this gives them the opportunity to try those out. I am also curious to know too if in the future Capcom might also add in something like Dino Stalker into the mix since that was a PlayStation 2 exclusive. Dino Stalker, for those of you that don't know, is a spin-off within the Gun Survivor series. It was uh, Gun Survivor 3 Dino Crisis in Japan, but here in the West, it is called Dino Stalker, and I do wonder if maybe they would be interested in putting that onto like the PlayStation 2 to PlayStation 4 feature, even though that feature is for the most part dead, unless if they are attempting to kind of revitalize that, at Sony specifically, or attempting to revitalize that through the PS5, perhaps. Now, before I go ahead and wrap up today's video, I did want to keep this one brief today. I am very curious to know if that Capcom does put in Dino Crisis 1 and 2 on this new PlayStation Plus subscription base, if we'll end up seeing the classic Resident Evil games, for example. Those were games that people did want to see an official HD remaster for, especially after seeing those seamless HD mods, and granted this wouldn't be as good as getting an official HD remaster, but I would want to see those games end up being on there, especially because I ended up purchasing a lot of those classic PlayStation 1 games and Resident Evil's 1, 2, and 3 happened to be one of the first few Capcom games that I ended up purchasing on PlayStation Store back on the PS3. So it will be interesting to see how that gets handled. Anyway, I'd like to know down in the comment section below what you all think. Do you think that Dino Crisis 1 is going to be the only PlayStation 1 classics game that we'll see from Capcom? Do you think that a Dino Crisis 2 might be the only one we'll see? Or do you think that we'll see both Dino Crisis 1 and 2 and potentially other games such as the Resident Evil trilogy? I'd like to know 
know down in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. Let me know what other games you'd like to see on this new PlayStation Plus subscription base. Also, if you ended up liking this video, give it a like, share it, and uh, maybe even subscribe if you want to. I don't really care. Anyway, my name's been BioDevilDom, and I will see you on the next one. Matinee.